Let's compare the all new Dell Ultra Sharp 32 inch 6K display against Apple's own Pro Display XDR. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and in my studio I have both Apple's Pro Display XDR and the all new Dell Ultra Sharp 32 inch 6K display. Both this and Apple's display are 6K and 32 inches. So let's go ahead and compare these two high-end professional monitors. Let's start with the design of the two monitors. Apple's Pro Display XDR has a gorgeous look. It is a uniform slab of metal with a display on the front, super thin bezels, and that really cool little circle texture along the back. The Dell UltraSharp, on the other hand, is pretty much what you'd come to expect from Dell, which means a little bit more plastic in the construction. There's a very solid base and an arm that goes on the back. There's a little bit of wiggle, kind of if I bump my desk a little bit, you can see the monitor wiggles a little more, especially compared to Apple's Pro Display XDR, when you add the stand that it definitely doesn't come with. Uh, so starting a little bit of wiggle, this is all plastic coated metal, so the stand, the, the stem on the back, all of that is metal only inside but then wrapped in plastic. You can adjust the display up and down pretty easily, boom, boom. It also can rotate so we can use it here in landscape or you can turn it and use it vertical if that's more of your preference. Uh, other changes here are design changes with the Dell monitor. There's kind of a lot more to touch on with the Dell. Um, on the left hand side, there are some buttons. They stay dark, but as your hand approaches, there's like a proximity sensor and the buttons will light up, which is a really nice little effect where you can do things like uh, adjust the volume, which actually didn't seem to work for me here on the Mac. Uh, but you can also do things like disable the camera above. We'll come back to that in a moment. On the right hand side, you can see the little status light when the monitor is on and around back, there's a little power button and a joystick that you can use to control the different various things of the monitor. So you can adjust the brightness, you can adjust uh, the inputs, all of that using that little joystick that is hidden around back. Let's talk about the ports. Apple's Pro Display XDR keeps things very minimalistic. There are only four ports on there aside from the power connector. So one of those is your downstream Thunderbolt port to connect to your Mac, can deliver 96 watts of power, and the other are additional Type-C ports that you can use to connect other accessories, uh, connect your camera, uh, connect your iPhone to charge, whatever it is, but just your basic peripherals can connect to those. The Dell UltraSharp on the other hand has a ton of port options. So around back, starting on the left hand side, we have an HDMI 2.1 port, followed by a mini display port. Then we have a downstream Thunderbolt 4 port that can deliver 15 watts of power. We have a data only type C port. Then we have our upstream Thunderbolt 4 port that can handle up to 140 watts of PD. Then there's a quartet of USB 3.2 Gen 2 type A ports, and finally a two and a half gigabit ethernet port there on the far right hand side. Other connections include a Kensington security slot and the power input. By the way, while those are all on the back, we have additional ports. So if we look on the front hand side near where those buttons are, there's actually a secret little pop down shelf that includes two USB 3.2 Gen 2 type C ports that can do 15 watts of power and a USB 3.2 Gen 2 type A port. I love how that can just pop out when you need it, connect your stuff and then it tucks away when you're done. Super handy to have those front facing ports. You don't have to go around behind your monitor, though of course there are a lot of other accessories along the back. Now because of all these ports here, they actually add a KVM switch into this. So you can move between multiple computers when connected to this monitor, which I think is a really, really neat feature for those that are working on multiple platforms and multiple computers at the same time. Let's come back to the webcam and the speakers, everything that is up top here. So this is an eight megapixel 4K webcam. It also has AI detection technology where it can kind of focus in on you and keep you within frame, similar to Apple center stage. Unfortunately, Apple doesn't include any speakers or camera on the Pro Display XDR. Now there are workarounds, you can add a camera or if you use like the magnetic mounts for MagSafe and you can use your FaceTime camera on your iPhone as a camera, that can all work. So there are other options obviously for Apple's built-in one, but especially the lack of speakers is surprising. They clearly anticipate that people are going to want really nice speakers to go with it. Uh, Dell just builds in at least some basic ones into the computer itself. One thing I really like about the camera is there's a physical shutter to turn this thing off. So on that lower left hand corner, if you tap on that camera icon, it'll close the shutter of the camera so you don't have that thing staring at you until you actually need it. And that works. So you can have QuickTime open on your Mac or Zoom open on your Mac and you hit that button. This is going to close. QuickTime, Zoom, whatever may still be running, but this 
is all physically shut off. There's also a mute switch, a physical mute switch there in the lower left hand corner so you can kill the microphone as well. Let's go ahead and talk about one of the most important aspects of a good monitor. That's the display, the panel itself. So both of these are 6K monitors, so they have slightly different resolutions. Apple's Pro Display XDR has an actual resolution of 6016 by 3384. The Dell UltraSharp, on the other hand, has a usable resolution of 6144 by 3456. So a slightly larger usable resolution here on the Dell UltraSharp. Both of these cover the P3 wide color gamut. Apple says it supports P3. Uh, Dell says it supports 99.9 .9 or 99% of the DCI P3 wide color gamut. Though Apple also offers many reference color modes. So for high end video production, which is gonna be a common theme when deciding between these two monitors. Other than that, Apple's panel starts to kind of run away with things. Apple says the XDR in Pro Display XDR stands for Extreme Dynamic Range, beyond high dynamic range, and that's pretty evidenced by its stats. So it can have up to a thousand nits of sustained brightness, but with peak brightness during HDR content, it can get all the way up to 1600 nits, which is incredibly bright. For SDR non-HDR content, it can sit at around 500 nits. The Dell UltraSharp, on the other hand, it's only going to be sitting at around 450 for its max brightness. If you have an extremely bright office, super open space, then this might be a little dim for you in that. I mean, in my studio, it is not bad. When I turn all the lights on and boost this all the way up, I think it looks fine, but it's still not super bright here other than like my key lighting for actual filming. So here in, inside of my studio, I think it's fine, but if you have a really open workspace, a ton of natural light, super bright. I feel like I would want a little more brightness on this, this display. Other differences is Apple's has a million to one contrast ratio, where the Dell UltraShop only has a 2000 to one contrast ratio. And that's all because of the types of display panels that each of them are using. Apple uses an IPS LCD screen with an oxide TFT layer. There's a 2D backlighting system with 576 full array local dimming zones, which helps provide those deeper blacks than your traditional backlighting system. Dell claims that its new UltraSharp is the first 6K display to use an IPS back panel technology, which is supposed to produce more accurate colors. Honestly, in all of my time using this on the desk for the past few weeks, the colors have been very good. They may not be as good as the Pro Display XDR, but this is still a fantastic looking display. I mean, 6K display, the pixel density is above 200 PPI. It, this looks gorgeous. This looks a fantastic. So Apple has a lot of really nice specs for its display, but do not let that fool you because this is an amazing looking monitor. So what's the final word? Which one of these two monitors is better and which one should you buy? Well, there are two different answers. Which one's better? If we're looking at the display itself, the display, uh, Apple's is better, hands down. I mean, Apple uses better technology. It is far brighter, great for HDR content, color reference modes. It's fantastic. But on the other hand, Apple's Pro Display XDR is five grand without a stand. Six if you want the anti-glare technology. Those, this has a kind of a, a middle ground slightly anti-glare, but not completely. I can definitely still see some reflections in it, but it does cut out, cut down on some glare. You can see some of the key lighting is a little uh, faded on here. It does a good job in your traditional office environment. So this has kind of anti-glare built in. It's five grand for the Pro Display XDR, six grand if you want the nano etched non-reflective finish, and then you're gonna have to pony up more if you want a stand. The Dell UltraSharp, 32 inch, 6K, only $3,200. I think this is far more affordable for a great looking panel. Plus you get speakers, plus you get a camera, you have all the ports along in the back. So you can go with HDMI, you can go with Thunderbolt. Several of those cables are included in the box. So you can use the Thunderbolt or HDMI, whatever you prefer to use. You have ports along the front. You have so many options here. Yes, it may not look quite as good if you're caring about the aesthetics. Yes, it's more plasticky, but for the price, thousands of dollars less basically if you're including the stand uh, or the non-reflective coating, this is what most people should buy if you're looking for a 6K 32 inch display. This one right here. I think it works great, it looks fantastic, and it is a far more affordable option than Apple's Pro Display XDR. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments or over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Grab that Pro Display XDR if you'd like, but I think it's only be those in production studios that need the most color accurate display possible. Uh, I just think that audience is a lot more niche than what Dell is looking for.